Hey, Good Shepherd. My name is Trevor Windsor, and I work in the communications department. We've been going through these daily devotionals, and um, I just felt like I had something that the Lord encouraged me with that I really just wanted to share. Uh, with the coronavirus, all this stuff going on, uh, for me, I just find myself kind of grasping for control um, anywhere I can have it. Um, and there's not a lot of it, in all honesty. Um, these times are very uncertain. And anxiety is just like simmering under the surface for me all the time. And one of the things that um, I just feel like the Lord blessed me with the other day just kind of came from a couple verses that were totally unexpected. Um, I just started reading the book of Luke um, and really just wanting to spend time with Jesus, um, really wanting to learn more about him and what he said and the way he lived his life. And um, let's be honest, in these times where we're at home and we're really close to our family all the time, and maybe you're working from home, or maybe you've been laid off from your job. There's just a lot of, man, opportunity to be uncertain what it looks like to follow Jesus in this time. And um, so I just want to read the first four verses. Again, this is not something I was planning on uh, the Lord speaking to me through. Uh, sometimes when you get into the Gospels, um, man, you just, the first chapters, uh, really some of the first verses are more introductory. And so it, it didn't feel like it was going to have this, uh, this really heavy, I don't know, implication or heavy uh, teaching or ministering from the Holy Spirit. But I felt like it just really ministered to me. So let me read it real quick. Uh, Luke 1, starting in verse 1. Inasmuch as many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the things that have been accomplished among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word have delivered them to us, it seemed good to me also, having followed all things closely for some time past, to write an orderly account for you, most ex excellent Theophilus. And then verse 4, this is, again, very unexpected, but really stuck out to me. Verse 4, that you may have certainty concerning, concerning the things you've been taught. So for me, I grew up in the church. Um, parents were in ministry. Uh, every single Sunday I was in church. I grew up understanding scripture, theology, worship, uh, community, uh, prayer, faith. Like these are things that have been instilled in me from a really young age. But I mean, at times like this where life is not normal and my rhythms and daily routines look very different, it's easy for me to um, really feel really anxious and again, really, really uncertain. And it starts to have me questioning the things that um, I believe. Like, I believe that God is good. I believe that God is in control. But times like this, they challenge uh, if I actually do believe that or not. Because the way that I think and the way that I feel um, don't seem to be rooted in what I say I believe. And one of the things that's been really cool, um, really just pressing into scripture over the last year or so, I feel like I've learned that um, that this is this is what Luke is saying, is that the more that I reveal my heart, myself to scripture, expose myself to scripture, uh, it really acts as a way of creating certainty concerning the things that I have been taught. And so that's really what I want to share is that in these times, in these uncertain and anxious and stressful, uptight times, we need to find pockets in our day where we can just sit before the word of the Lord and just have it speak to us and bring that certainty and remind ourselves truly of what uh, what God has done and who he is, that he's good, that he's gracious, that he's in control, that um, he does what's best for us. That's the thing that I'm concerned about most. Like, God, what are you doing in this time? It sure doesn't feel like you're bringing about good in my life. All it's bringing is more stress and I'm freaking out at my three-year-old and not being a good husband. Like, I don't understand what's going on. But the more that I expose myself to scripture and the more that I spend time in the word, I'm understanding this more and more that verse four is exactly what's happening when I read scripture, that I am being, uh, that, I, that I'm being encouraged to be certain about the things that I've been taught. And so that's just, again, my encouragement. Spend time in the word, spend time with the Lord, be reminded of who he is what he's done for us, and that he's got all of this. And know that scripture makes it really clear that God is always about two things. He's always about bringing the most glory to himself, and he's also about bringing what's best for his kids. And he's got this. There's nothing outside of his control. And so press into scripture and become more certain concerning the things that we've been taught. 
Love you guys. Hope that was encouraging to you. And let's just keep pursuing the Lord and learning how to follow him one day at a time.